Come on, Drew. Drew, you haven't done nothing. Hit the ball. Come on, Drew. Curveball outside by about four inches. And it's two balls and two strikes. Boy, he has thrown two balls and two strikes. in this game. Let's go, Drew. Drew. The regular season through the postseason has increased. He's realized He's had a terrible postseason, Drew. You can be a hero now, Drew. Let's go, Drew. What? It comes set again. Every pitch meaning so much now. Two, two, another curveball. That one is way outside. Hit it, Drew. And it's three and two. And will they run Bogarts here? Let's stay with me right here. Drew at the plate that's been struggling and can swing. Who's been struggling it's bad? Aggressive to run him here. Good speed on the bases. But I don't Come know on, if Drew. Have a lot of confidence that Drew can put the ball in play. Maybe he can. Maybe he will. Very well. Put the ball in play, Drew. I got faith in you right now, Drew. You can do it, buddy. You can do it. Come on, Drew. He is not going, and it is outside ball four. Ball four. Curveball after curveball, and he just kept missing with them. He walked through. The Red Sox have runners at first and second. Drew gonna walk. All right. Let's see what happens with Ross now. This is the part of their order that they have to build the inning like this. But this is Wayne getting Wright interesting. Is kind of building it for them with that walk. We just might do something. Where's the radio keep going off? With John Lester, who's never had a Come on. As a hey. Stop that. Lester. What the heck? Well. They're on the connection, oh, folks. He decides to hit. Let's see what Ross does. Activity now beginning in the Cardinal pen. Carlos Martinez Come is on, getting Ross. up and starting to throw. The pitch to Ross, the called strike. Come on, Ross. Stick with me, folks. I have a funny feeling. And my intuition with the Red Sox is pretty good. Here is Jim Bourbon having a funny feeling that Ross is going to do something right here and change the whole. The whole. What, what, what's the word I'm looking for? The whole name of the game here. We're going to change the whole game here. A look back by Wainwright. And the going to change the whole game here. In under his hands, a ball a Stick with me, folks. I have one of my feelings. Ross See this feeling with Ross. Low in the end. Caught a lot of the plate in his last at bat and hit a firm ground ball that found a hole. That ground ball would be a double a man to hit again at somebody. He just happened on to first find a hole and a man on second, I believe. Gets a curveball. A Jew on first base. A Drew might be, might be it's a big opportunity in this World three. Series. Right now. At third base. He is not right now to do Andrew something. Cosmos was a very good shortstop, although he's had a couple of errors early in the series. 1-1 one, one is swung on and popped up. Back of the plate. Molina Ross popped it up. The mask, back to the screen, and it's in the third row of seats. It's okay. So it's a ball and two strikes on it's not an out. So it's chance. a ball and two strikes. It's a coming in gets from another chance. Field. I thought that ball had a chance Stick to Stick with caught. me. But that Stick with kind me. Of took it into the stands. It never had that natural reaction that pop-ups have, where it came back towards the field. Wayne Wright doing a little groundskeeping in his landing. This could be the turn of the game. It's going to change the whole atmosphere of the game. This is going to turn the game around. Ross. Red Sox are threatening. Could this be it? Could this be it? Come on, Ross. Hit it! Hit the ball! The one two to Ross, and the ball line down the left field line. It is fair. Fair. And it skips up into the seats for a ground roll double. A double. And David Ross. David has Ross. The Red Sox are two to one. Lead. David Ross did it. My intuition came in. Made a David Ross the gave the Red Sox a two to one lean. A miss on the speed, but because could be the difference in the game. The this is going to change the whole atmosphere of this game to the towards the Red the Sox and that ball fair, to win game Ross number five. Hooking, hooking, thanks to David just Ross. Just barely fair. And now because they have the we are now winning two to one.
the Red Sox get a chance to stay. Have they, have the uh, lead. Ross made it out two on two out. Maybe they pinch I'll talk to you guys him. after this game. Lester will stay here. Unbelievable. The runners are at second and third, two to one Boston. Wait, let's out, infield way let's in. see what happens in this the inning. Because it's, and Lester again, 0 for 33. It's only one out. In his career as a big leaguer. Wow. Is going to get a chance let's stick with the Red Sox. So we're going to pull ahead right here. And drive in a run. I had a funny feeling, and my feeling is coming true. We're going to win this game number five. He couldn't get a bunt down and a blast at bat, but you still got to have squeeze in your mind no matter what. That ball skipping into the stands might have cost the Red Sox a run. you got to squeeze in your mind. Oh, it definitely cost the Red Sox a run. It's all right. Drew was stopped at third. Red Sox ball. at the least. Skipped up into the seats. I would think pitch out right here if I'm the Cardinals. Ross just hit a double. You heard it right here. As I'm putting it. this right up on YouTube. As soon as this game is over. Except the ring is going up. But it was and not I don't know why. Right. It's all bulldog. I wouldn't think it here, but I'm going to throw a curveball. Or up and in cutter. Are you? You're not even playing. How are you going to throw a curveball? That is the hardest pitch to play. I don't like this announcer, folks. Something wrong with this guy. One and one the count on Lester. Two one Boston. Second and third one out. Two one Boston. Top seven bullpen working for the Cardinals. The pitch. And a swing and a broken back ground ball back to the mound. Wainwright has it. Looks at the runner back and then tosses easily to first to retire Lester for the second out. Cut fastball in and just absolutely shattered. Well, that was Lester. You don't expect Lester to hit anything. That the ball was directly back at the pitcher because that's one of those balls, even with the field in, if hit on an angle. Red Sox just took the lead in now game Ellsbury five in the World Series. Who continues Two to, to one, Red Sox. For three tonight. Come on, three Jacob Ellsbury. In the series. Ellsbury's and having a having terrible a, a base hit to be World here. Series. Likely would score two. If Ellsbury could two to one get a base here. hit. Wainwright near the final Put us way ahead. This start for him. He's at we can take this game. Right now. Game five of the World Series. You're talking Jim Burr, you know, first base open, left-handed batter against a right-handed pitcher. Why don't you pitch around him? Well, Dustin Bedroy is swinging the bat much better than Jacoby Ellsbury. This is so unbelievable, I folks. will go directly at Ellsbury here. I have the feeling. I have the feeling. Wainwright will work from the stretch. The third Drew at second Ross and a swing and a miss by Ellsbury. Well, come on, Jacob. Do something. Wake up. He swung very hard and over top of the <laughs> Wake up with you, man. Just pulled out. <laughs> What's wrong with you, man? Wake up. Ellsbury steps out of the box, going through his routine, adjusting. Batting yeah. gloves, getting a good grip on the bat now, very methodically and deliberately steps back in. Wainwright immediately ready to go. The 0-1 on the way, and a swing and a liner headed for center field, it. and down for a base hit. He did it. One run is home. Here comes Ross. The throw to the plate is in time to get him. What? The tag by Molina. What? But Ellsbury comes through with an okay. RBI single, and the Red Sox get two. Okay, we got two runs. The seventh inning stretch is brought to you by Barbasol. Ellsbury finally came through. Shave. Better by Barbasol. Ellsbury finally comes through out of a... Three. The Cardinals oh, man. This is the World Series on ESPN Radio and the ESPN Radio. Man, that was great. Jacoby finally came through after not hitting. How many games? Not getting a hit. I mean, a lot of games. He's been in such a slump. Jacob Ellsbury's been in such a slump during the series, and I got it right here on tape. We are now going to win the World Series because it is four to one. Four to one, Red Sox. We're going to win this game, game number five. You heard it here first, right here. I'm putting this right up. Ellsbury's hit. Drew was got to walk. Uh. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Talk to you guys later.